Greetings, and thank you for taking an interest in one of the most historic projects the Land Conservancy has undertaken. The historic Keister Water Mill, located in eastern Wayne County, is a fully operational mill that was originally built in 1816 and operated commercially through the 1970s. It's a fully operated cider press, grist mill, and sawmill, all nestled into a nice little valley called Millbrook. The Land Conservancy has taken this project on and hoping to turn it into a marvelous tourist destination, historic attraction, and nature preserve. Thank you for taking a sneak peek. Hope you enjoy. So this sawmill I have used, it's, it's scary, it's fun, that's what my passion is, but there's a lot of prep work and everything. The neat thing is you can stand here and operate it just and talk just as we are until the blade hits the log, then you, it gets quite noisy. But, Why uh, am I picturing our heroine tied to the tracks ah! with the blade coming toward her? Oh, gosh. Well, all right, here's the track. You want to lay down? Yeah. No, I do not. Thank you so much. But also, too, what I like is on this side, he can uh, crank ice cream. Oh, yeah. yeah I've got a picture of that. We did that. We did uh, 30 gallons of ice cream for one of the open houses that we had down here. Now, one thing you got to keep in mind, too, I, I definitely have to explain this. Being a tool maker, I, I have a passion for tools. I'm into woodworking, so I mean, this was just the perfect fit for me. But I bought it as a hobby. Now, I bought it, what, how long has it been now? 18 years or something like that. Long before the internet was really ramped up and all. So, to me, marketing this as a business or anything was not in my mind or anything. You know, I just bought it for fun. And expensive. Soon after, <laughs> soon after you I mean, got yeah, married. Yeah, six, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had just gotten married, didn't have a house yet, bought this, or worked on buying this, and it, it was taking so long, 10 months, I said, I got to buy my wife a house here. So I bought a house on Quinby. The day we closed on that, the guy called me up with this property and says, hey, we can close. And I said, I need at least three months to get some down payment here. So we busted and, and got 10000 and that I took out, I replaced it uh, 12 years ago. Yeah, 12 years ago, and this was what we had, plus some drawings that Keith Spear had done up and all, and I reverse engineered everything to get the exact dimensions. I give credit to Del Donahue for the final dimension that I needed. Uh, he used to do those, what was it, the Dell's folks. Yeah. And he had a video from right after this wheel was done, and in that video, I could see the final dimension. There was a Erosion, as you can tell, erosion is <laughs> quite common on this. But it, his video was so new, I could see this quarter inch. And if I had to build it without his video, the spokes would have gone inward like this, where in the video I could see they were straight. Yeah, yeah. for a marketing purpose. Yeah. Sure. It's a more recognizable name. You know, I just saw that sign up there. <laughs> okay, my daughter. <laughs> This, uh, thinking of the flower and all, this machine right here, I like to focus on because it's real simple. It's right here. If somebody wanted to get into doing uh, pancake flour, this is the machine you would use. It's set up for buckwheat or wheat, whatever. But the grain comes from a storage bin up above, which there's a thousand bushel of storage up above us. Or there's storage for a thousand bushel, I, I should say. And so it would come down here, grind, and then run through this elevator system and then run through this, which would separate your germ, which uh, I think is worth more per pound than what the flour is. And then you would bag your flour from here. And we've, we've used that, that's fun to use. The cornmeal was done in this machine over here, which is quite an elaborate system. That that was his big business. Um, and if he knows, he had a reason, because he was very particular on how cleanliness other than the product would get sifted and sifted and sifted before it went into that bag. And, and actually, by definition of the cornmeal, his may not have fit it because they grade that by the coarseness and all that. And his might have been a little bit better than expectations for guidelines. My brother would go crazy. He makes all his own 
anything with any kind of flour, just mm -hmm. bread, corn, corn bread. Well, if you buy them both, we're seven fifty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not two fifty. No, that's okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying he, he would like seeing this stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed the amazing tour. The Land Conservancy, working with many partners in Wayne County and beyond, are hoping to turn the historic Keister Water Mill into a top-notch tourist destination focusing on agricultural history, industrial history, natural history, to, to supplement and augment the tourism industry that is already booming in Wayne County. We want this to be the first stop you make as you visit Amish country in Wayne County. Thank you for your stay. We'll see you soon.